Hello everyone, welcome to a, another old school video for you on YouTube today. We are going to cover off how you set up parental controls on your PC. Uh, something that, as you can appreciate, is, is quite important in the modern world. Trying to protect our loved ones from the vulnerabilities that they can face by accessing the internet. Uh, so really, it shouldn't be that difficult for us to set up. If we go in firstly to settings, so if you click on your Windows button or push the button on your laptop, whatever's easier, and click the settings icon, you'll be brought up with a page that looks very similar to this. And on here, you just need to go into updates and security. And in update and security, you'll find Windows security. And under Windows Security, if you scroll down the protection areas, you'll find Family Options. Um, so here, you can, as you can see, there's a list of things that parental controls can allow you to do. Um, help protect your kids online, set screen time habits, keep track of your child's digital life, and let your kids buy appropriate apps and games. So if you haven't already had this set up before, You'll see here when you click View Family Settings, it will take you onto a web page using your default browser, for us that's Google Chrome. Um, and you can have the option here to create a family group. If you want to adjust settings on a group you've set up before, you've already got set up, you can sign in and change the changes there as you need to. Um, some of the things again that's covered are setting screen time limits, blocking inappropriate content and you can also have activity reports that will show you like for example your weekly activity um, what your children have been up to across their various apps games and other devices um, and you can also see where your family are logging on from um, with find your family um, there's a few other bits down here that are, I mentioned gathering ideas in one place so you can share a shopping list for, for example um, and set up shared calendars, that sort of thing. Um, we haven't actually set up a family group at the moment, but if we collect create family group and then you just sign into your Microsoft account in the usual way, uh, once, once there, you can add somebody via an email or a phone number and then you click create account. Um, we haven't actually set up anything there, so let me just put in a, a dummy email address. You won't be able to see that, obviously. Um, and then you can choose the role. So the organizer can set up all the family groups and settings, and a member, um, depending on their age, can update their settings. So if we go in as an organizer, taking the parental role, and um, we can type this robot check. Just type in the letters that you see in the image there. And an invitation is then sent to the member. As you can see, you can then manage permissions, add members, Add profiles, set up different limits and things. It will tell you here how to do everything. This is the place that you need to do it. Family, family events, share notes, etc. Once you've set these up, the family members will appear in this list, and then you can choose the permissions for each individual member. Once you've changed them, you can save that, and that will be set up and ready to go for you. Uh, for now, I'm not going to set up the pending member, so I'll cancel that invite and remove them from the group. Uh, if you want a bit more information, you can watch the videos that are supplied here on the help screens. And again, that will run through the various elements that you can set up to successfully set up a family group. Um, I think that pretty much covers that. And... Uh, Brilliant. Parental controls at your fingertips. If you like the video, please do let us know. Give us a like. 
If you want to see some more of this sort of stuff, subscribe. And if you've got something you'd like us to cover, put something in the comments for us and we'll see if we can pick that up and, and give you some more information and, and do a video for you. Anyway, speak to you soon. Cheers.